Hi, it's Lorraine again. Now I'm going to show you how to do some very easy printing. What you'll need is some scissors, some cardboard. I've just got a piece of packaging here. Uh, some glue, some black paint. And then if you can find some bits and pieces to cut up, piece of string, bit of net, ribbon, anything you can find. So you're going to cut a square about that size from your cardboard. Like so. You're going to take your piece of cardboard and your brush and your glue. Glue all over the cardboard. We will get sticky fingers, but you can wash them afterwards. Then I'm going to attach my little bits and pieces I found. So what I'm going to do is make a spiral out of my string. Kind of a spiral, or any shape you like. Stick it on the card. It won't stick completely straight away. And I'm going to get a piece of net and stick that down as well. Um, there's a little stick here. You could use a match. It's anything you can find. You can make a picture from it if you wanted to do a face or um, an animal. Anything you fancy. I've got some um, corrugated cardboard here. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of that. Stick that down as well. So that's very good for making a pattern. And a piece of ribbon. And I have got this netting here as well. It's a bit bigger than that one. A bit more glue. And then what you need to do to secure it all down is get quite a bit of glue and spread it all over the top. Make sure so everything is stuck down. Don't worry if it looks a bit messy because the PVA glue will dry clear. Just dab it in. That's it. Okay, put that to one side. So then what you'll do is you will put this to one side to dry completely. This is one I made before. You can just about see the object. So there's some string, the cardboard, the net, the stick. And what you're going to do is get a paintbrush, some black paint. I'm going to create a repeating pattern. So not too much paint. But make sure you cover all the shapes. And what you're going to do is turn your cardboard over, face down onto a piece of paper, and push down with your fingers so all of the shapes touch the paper underneath. And lift very slowly and gently. Oh, a bit too much paint on that one. I'm going to move it across. Same again. Lift slowly. 
You can see the patterns there more. And again, you can use colour if you want, but I just think the black shows up a lot better. You could do a mixture of colours and keep going till you get to the end of the paper. That's even better. So maybe not as much paint as I put on in the first place. And then you should end up with a piece of paper like this with your pattern on. So you could use it for wrapping paper maybe, um, or just as a picture.